Hey guys, welcome back. So it is another great weekend. It's beautiful outside, but it's definitely not uh, winter-like. It's been pretty damn warm and sunny. I guess the last couple of days have actually been uh, pretty cold and sunny. Highs in like the 30s, which I guess isn't that cold for this area. Um, but definitely beautiful outside. I would like some snow. We're doing probably one of my least favorite chores right now, and that is laundry mat laundry. I actually really enjoy doing laundry when I am at like an Airbnb or a hotel and I have my own, you know, laundry. Uh, but this is just kind of a pain in the ass when you're in public and using public machines. So we are sitting and waiting for stuff to dry. And then I'm getting a haircut. So yeah, just a normal weekend. But yeah, I'll pick you up inside folding the damn laundry. And then I get my hair cut. It is really unruly and gray. Oh God. And then we're gonna do a beautiful walk too today. So, yeah. All right, well, laundry was a success. I mean, it's done. Now it's time to get this mop off my head. So, give my head to the barber shop. Okay, time to get this mop chopped off. Here goes nothing. There you go. It's all chopped off. So much better. Now it's time to go on a walk or adventure. Adventure time! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we made it on our little hike adventure. We're at Tumalo Falls. Nope. No, we're not. We're at Tumalo State Park. Tumalo Falls is another really cool one, but it's actually in the National Forest, like way, way away from here. But this little loop trail thing we're on, I think goes for like, 10 miles or something crazy. It's really long. It comes from Tumalo, the little town and campground where we're at now, all the way into Bend. And then the Bend Trail goes obviously through Bend, but all the way up to Sun River. And then there might be a trail that goes through Sun River to Lapine, but I'm not sure. So if that was like at least 30 or 40 miles from here, to where it ends, but we're gonna enjoy ourselves. It's a busy day on the trail. I'm surprised. Last time we came through here, I would have expected to be more busy because I feel like it was more of a, the busy season, but we've walked by a lot of people already. Look at those beautiful cliff sides. <laughs> There's still frost on the ground. It's been like freezing fog. So it's like snow, but not snow. The last couple weeks, probably the most snow, like cheese that we've had this month as far as snow is concerned. But we're gonna continue on this beautiful trail along the river. This is one of my favorite parts of the hike or the walk is this little bridge they built. Look, there's snow. There's a massive. And the river. And a giant group of people. But they've put this like suspension bridge over the top of the giant boulders in this area because 
obviously it's just like boulder after boulder. It'd be a little hard to walk over if it wasn't up here. Something that's kind of cool about the hike is there are these cliff side houses along it uh, and we're surrounded by a national forest but there's houses like that one that are just chilling on the cliff have the beautiful river below them I would love to have that house maybe I don't know you might fall off the cliff also Riley's Park part of the nature Riley Ridge look there's an old cabin the thing has to be older than dirt there's another one up here. I'll show you. Yeah, most of it is dirt now. So apparently this is the cat, another cabin from 1900s. Pretty cool. There are several on this part of the hike. We have worked up quite the appetite. I think this round trip, this is going to be like six and a half or seven miles, which isn't too bad for a little evening stroll, afternoon stroll. We've been trying to eat healthier and um, be more active, like the old, good old pre pandemic Andrew with less anxiety. That was actually just after the Great American Road Trip this summer. But we are headed back to the car and we're going to go to the store and get some snackies, some supper stuff, and uh, go out to Mexican for dinner. Haven't had Mexican in a while, so yeah. Look at those cool little things. Almost back to the car and I was like, I don't think I would do that. Now that the sun is like gone in our area. Pretty chilly. Frost and snow and stuff everywhere. Any hoozles. Back to that little like bridge crashing crossing. Snackies and supper stuff. We'll have to come back here tomorrow to do our main grocery shopping. We're going to eat after this and everything can't chill in the car that long. So yeah, we'll take you with that dinner. I've been munching on chickies. We got our drinks, but look at that foam food. Michael got the bacon wrapped prawns and I got the chicken and <laughs> thank you. Chicken and cream and got margarita. So we're gonna mow. <laughs> this down because I'm excited to eat and head home, unpack the car and chill. It's been a good day. Even though I had to do stupid laundry. Oh yeah. Probably should eat and not film. Because people are gonna be like I'm a crazy person. Well, we're back home and the adults were naughty or the old old dogs were naughty they got into the trash and ripped it everywhere but we have to unload the groceries we bought unpack the car start a fire and we're gonna unwind because it is pitch black outside long full day we'll pick you guys up next tomorrow <laughs> anyway bye good morning loves so it is actually Sunday and Michael has been staying home on Sundays so that it's just like one day of the week to recharge and not have to drive back into town and my one day to drive into town and kind of do whatever I want. Um, gonna get some groceries for today, it's meal tonight and also uh, probably some stuff for tomorrow and I think I'm gonna go on a little walk and I have to get paint brushes and um, a roller and some doggy treats at the store too so I'm just gonna run in some small errands and go on a little adventure today it is not beautiful and sunny but it's okay well 
I made it to my first stop after Dutch Brothers, of course. Um, lovely Wally World. Um, really not my favorite place to shop, but they're the only ones in town that carry the damn vacuum bags that we need. So, yeah, our vacuum still uses bags. So, I got a bunch of random other shit, of course, that we probably don't need. But I'm gonna go check out now. Oh no, I forgot paintbrushes. And then, <laughs> after I grab paintbrushes, I'll check out and go on my little block. I'm trying to decide if I wanna go downtown or to the falls, so we'll see. I am done at Walmart. I don't know why I hate Walmart so much, but they're the only places, like I said, that carry our vacuum bags, because our vacuum is still old fashioned and takes vacuum bags, but now I get to like whoosh and go on an adventure. <laughs> and then go get groceries. Oh, hopefully the grocery store is not very busy. What a lovely Sunday so far. But got my Dutch to fuel me up. Okay, well I made it to uh, the Lava Lands. And at the end of the road at Lava Lands is where Benham Falls Trail starts um, from Highway 97 here in Central Oregon. This is on the opposite side of town like I was talking about yesterday, the trail uh, going from Tumalo all the way to Sun River and the Pine. This is right before Sun River. So you can see um, we are about a thousand feet higher in elevation and there's two and a half feet of snow on the ground. The ruts are pretty intense. You could just hit the gas and go like a train because of the tracks in the snow. Um, but I'm gonna see how packed the parking lot is before I make my decision on whether or not I'm gonna hike here because obviously if there's no parking then I can't park. <laughs> um, but this is one of my favorite hikes and it's so beautiful out. So much snow still, which is crazy because it's been like in the, well lately I guess like it's been in the 30s, but before that it was like 50. Today it's 41. So. Anyway, we'll see how the parking lot is. Well, look at that. I made it. That was a sketchy trip down here. And I am in a pretty much empty parking lot. It's never this empty. So it's just me and one other car here. Ooh, that made me dizzy. I'm sure it made you guys dizzy as well. So I guess we'll see how far I get on this little trail today. It is really icy, slipping around and it's above freezing. So it makes it like walking on ice with water on it. But gonna go down the trail so yeah well i made it to the first set of waterfalls the water is so much lower here than it is down um, in tumbleo it's kind of crazy how that works but this cascade goes from up the hill down and this is probably one of the smallest falls all the way back to town which is 10 15 miles north of here it is so icy i fell down that hill so probably not the best place to be hiking alone out here you know slip fall down into the river at least it's not very deep it is roaring though and it is beautiful i posted a little clip without my face and talking <laughs> I'm alive. I made it back to the parking lot. I only fell four times before I decided it was time to turn around. Two of which were almost off of a cliff. <laughs> but I am now the only one here in the parking lot. And I'm going to do my little city walk, town walk, since I only made it two miles today, which I wanted to do a bit longer. So I'll go somewhere a little less treacherous and next time I'll bring Michael to come with me in case I fall down the cliff, so I have some help. Well, I made it downtown, obviously. I'm actually in the Old Mill District. I'm doing one of my favorite walks uh, through town. I'll find out actually how long it is, and then I'll go grocery shopping. But on my way out of that road from uh, Lava Lands and Benham Falls, 
about four cars were coming down and it's only you know rutted for one-way traffic and it is you know over two feet deep and oh god the lady in front of me got stuck and then everybody else behind her decided to turn around so i'm glad that they turned around instead of having to have me get up and on top of that hill because it was no fun the snow bank hill anyway i'm gonna finish my little walk and then i'm gonna go to safeway to get some groceries well i made it i think this is about the halfway point and it's at two and a quarter miles from where i started so it's about four and a half mile round trip little loop not bad then my favorite part of downtown the um drake park area and near pond up there there's a lot of historic houses along the river i just love the scenery my little bridge clearing up a tiny bit the sun's popped out so next stop will be safeway like i said before but this is a check-in i guess in between <laughs> okay i'm finally done shopping i think i got more than i needed should be enough for a couple days anyway well i made it home after today's adventure got the groceries unpacked so being ready to cook dinner i'm gonna make some tea and relax and i guess this is where we'll call it a night or a video see you guys next time bye